I hope that counter isn't dirty. Cappy, <laughs> what's good? Welcome to your reading. Today I'm gonna do a past, present, and future for you, then I'm gonna pull three cards for your most likely outcome. Please understand that this is a general reading, so you need to make sure to check your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. Uh, also, this can be interchangeable, okay? So if I, you know, this could be you, or this could be your person that I'm talking about, all right? So just take it how it resonates. Universe spirits and guides, give me four shuffles for the sign of Capricorn, please. Three more shuffles for the sign of Capricorn, please. Capricorn, your overall energy is the world. You may feel like something has ended here, okay, whether that's with a person or just something in your everyday life. In the past, we have the star, the eight of coins, and the five of cups. Uh, you are hopeful in something, uh, whether this be a work project, this could uh, have to do with work with that eight of coins there, or this could be a person. You may have put a lot of work into something, but then we have the five of cups here, so this talks about regrets or being sad about something, looking back on the past, and. Um, not feeling good about it. In the present, we have the Six of Swords in reverse, the Five of Wands in reverse, and the King of Cups in reverse. You or somebody else may be wanting to rewind, go back to the past here, okay? Um, but somebody's avoiding conflict. I don't know if somebody has done it yet, but there's I feel like there's somebody that is maybe acting a little emotionally immature or somebody that's just not willing to open up emotionally whatsoever, all right? Um, in the future, we have the Queen of Coins in reverse, the Queen of Swords in the upright, and the Fool in reverse. There's a sense of instability here and somebody being um, very outspoken in whatever matter this is. and. Uh, Again, there's this sense of, I feel like whatever this King of Cups in Reverse is has to do with this Fool in Reverse, you know, some type of emotional immaturity of some sort, being afraid to take a risk, being afraid to say something, you know, that has to do with emotions or, you know, not really, not really knowing how to act, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify. Why is the world here for Capricorn? There was a constant power struggle between you and another person. I feel like it caused uh, probably the both of you is the first thing that popped in my head. It caused the both of you to feel incredibly drained. I feel like somebody was possibly being immature or trying to control a situation to the point of just not being able to. It's almost like a, someone's trying to bend you till you break type of, type of deal. And it's a constant power struggle. And, um, you know, if that's your person, I feel like you just can't take it anymore. I feel like it's enough. I feel like it, it caused you to almost break completely. You were at your wit's end and uh, you're putting an end to the power struggle. I feel like somebody was too controlling or manipulative or, you know, just too domineering. Okay. Uh, why is the star here? Someone, someone, um, someone was not letting go of the past here. Someone, there's a sense of somebody looking at the other person like this is everything I've ever wanted in a person and not being able to let go, keep constantly thinking about um, memories or thinking about, 
I wanted to, I heard the purity of something, the purity of the person or the purity of the love. I know that sounds corny, but that's what popped into my head, so I had to say it. Um, but there's somebody that is holding on heavily to the past, that in the past. <laughs> Someone was still holding on to the past in the past here. But I don't necessarily think it's such a negative thing. Somebody is, it's almost like somebody is holding on to the hope that um, you guys can mend things. So I don't know if that's you or your person doing it. Why is the eight of coins here? This looks like to me somebody trying to put their nose to the ground, uh, trying to work on themselves possibly or focus on their finances to try and avoid conflict. I think that somebody tried to, yeah, with the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. So we have the eight of coins clarified by the five of wands in reverse and the two of swords in reverse. Um, I feel like this is somebody trying to avoid conflict by just putting their nose to the ground and on their grind and focusing on a new trade or a skill or you know learning a new skill or just whatever focusing on themselves even and someone in the past here was seeing that very clearly because um, they didn't they didn't want an argument or they didn't want to deal with the BS somebody could for I feel like somebody here um, was getting a lot of attention for their work okay this could be you or them um, i kind of feel like this is you possibly it could be them though okay it could be wh whomever but um i feel like somebody got a lot of notoriety or a lot of attention for the good work that they did and uh this person in turn was just avoiding conflict because they see things clearly and they felt like they needed they know what they needed to do here why is this five of cups here for capricorn in the past There's a sense here of somebody regretting not taking action. There's a sense of somebody being too afraid to take action, possibly because of something that they did in the past here. Um, this is somebody I feel the first thing that popped in my head was a missed opportunity. I feel like somebody had their chance to make a move or somebody had their their chance to say something or, you know, make an, a, a, an advancement, if you will, um, and somebody just, just didn't they just didn't do it and I feel like there were regrets there were regrets on that okay or maybe there you know somebody did take action but it didn't turn out the way that it did or I feel like somebody may have hesitated for too long and missed out okay so let's look at the six of swords in reverse in the current moment here why is the six of swords in reverse for the present This is somebody that is um, still stuck in the past or wanting to wanting to make a return here once again. Now, I don't know if this is you or your person, but it's like, it's like somebody is still, somebody is coming from a place of ego. Somebody is, it's like they're trying to, it's like somebody is trying to, keep a open mind or somebody is trying to um you know release anxiety or see the light at the end of the tunnel um but the problem is is their energy shouldn't be this it should be this so this is somebody wanting something and then we have the sun card here you could be dealing with the fire sign it could be anybody though right um but somebody is still um going about things from 
a level of ego or they may just feel incredibly optimistic that this could work out and it's almost okay I don't want to this is like somebody like oh I know if I if I could I could have Capricorn back or you saying you saying oh I know if I wanted this person I could have them type of deal and being optimistic in that being very confident in that with the sun at the bottom of the deck with the knight of wands in reverse okay so i'd be careful of that whether that's you or them why is the five of wands here in the present moment for capricorn devil at the bottom of the deck so uh we got the five of wands in reverse clarified by the seven of coins and the world um it's almost like somebody is just waiting on things to clear out or just waiting on things to end um you know or and it's like it's like this person is trying, whoever this is, I kind of feel like this is you. It's almost like you are kind of patiently waiting on things to just die out a little bit or some type of conflict to die out. Um, I don't really know if you're saying anything here. Saying or doing anything. But this is somebody taking their time, taking their time. But there, there is, because you feel, I feel like this is you. I feel like you view somebody as still having toxic ways about them. I feel like you may not trust this person completely, okay? And the reason why I feel like this is your energy thinking this, this devil energy about your person is because I feel like this is them, the Knight of Wands in reverse. This is somebody almost being overly confident that they could get you back here. And uh, I feel like you're just letting, it's almost like you're kind of just like, I feel like this is you and this energy up here as well because we have the eight in the past here we have the eight of coins with the five of wands in reverse and the two of swords in reverse in the past you were very clear you were very uh clear that you just needed to work on yourself and focus on you your your house your you know whatever your finances okay and here it's showing up again as the five of wands in reverse so you're just kind of patiently waiting for this to just for this cycle to close Okay, but I don't feel like somebody's happy about it because we have the King of Cups in reverse. Because you do view this as a toxic situation here. Why is the King of Cups in reverse for the present? You have got to be kidding me. Fool at the bottom of the deck. We have the King of Cups in reverse, clarified by the King of Cups in reverse and the star. This is somebody still wishing for you, I think. I feel like this is somebody still wishing for you, but the thing is, is that this person is in a very emotionally immature place right now. And if they take a risk towards you right now, this per person could even have an emotional outburst or um you know take a dig at you emotionally or whatever but <laughs> they still have hope in this but they th there's a there's a sense of not knowing how to properly um communicate what they want here oh my god is my eyelash falling off how embarrassing okay whatever this person doesn't know how to <laughs> properly communicate uh their emotions and it's like they have this confidence that they could get you back, but you're just kind of sitting there in, in quiet, you know, keeping your, I feel like you're still doing the same thing you were, you know, you're investing, you're building, you're, you're building your, your brand or your bill, you know, you're whatever, you know, you're focused on your money again and you're just kind of slowly waiting for this to die out. So let's see why this um, queen of coins is in reverse here. Why is this queen of coins in reverse?
we have the Queen of Coins in reverse, the Four of Wands in reverse, and the Eight of Coins in reverse. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like this... I feel like this is uh, your person being frustrated possibly that you're not biting or that you're not putting any effort into this. They, I think that they, they're eventually in the future here, they're going to catch on to you're kind of just slowly waiting for this to die. Um, I feel like they're getting irrit irritated with you. I feel like they're getting irritated with you because you're not nurturing this. Okay, and I feel like this person may get jealous or just upset. Um, why is the Queen of Swords here for the future placement? All right, I'm not trying to laugh at your person. It's just, um, it's just, you know, a lot of their cards I feel are showing up in reverse, you know, but not in like the best way. Uh, why is the Queen of Swords here? This person wants to tell you something. In the future here, I feel like um, this person is going to, you could be dealing with a, uh, another earth sign here. Oh, Aquarius is here too, anyway. Um, I feel like this person comes to tell you something, right? And it's like you're receptive to listen. But with that, I feel like it could be about somebody else. If this was a third party here, it could be that, because we have the Queen of Wands in reverse here at the bottom of the deck. It could be that your person is coming to tell you this. We have the Queen of Swords in the upright, clarified by the Seven of Swords in reverse, and the Hermit in the upright. This almost looks to me like, like if I could give you a scenario, this is like you sitting in a chair, and you're like, okay, what do you have to tell me? You know, like here's your chance, here's your one chance, and it's like this person goes to tell you, but this person is still withdrawing. I don't feel like they're giving you everything. I don't feel like this person will give you everything. And I don't know if you're gonna, you're gonna mess with that, um, Capricorn. Okay. But it's like, I feel like you already know in that Queen of Swords energy, that's where you're like, all right, what's good, you know? Um, Remember the roles could be reversed, but I feel like this person is is not telling you everything. This person, I feel like you know a lot more about the situation than you let on, or you know this person knows a lot more that they're not that they're not telling you. Like they're only giving you bits and pieces of the truth. Why is the fool in reverse? Okay, give me one more card. Four of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So, um, I, I feel that it's possible that this person, we have the Fool in reverse clarified by the Three of Cups in reverse and the Fool in the upright. It reminds me, it's a, this is this person's energy again. Because we got the King of Cups in reverse, King of Cups in reverse, and now we have the Fool in reverse clarified by the Three of Cups in reverse and the Fool. <laughs> the Fool clarifying the Fool, just, anyway. So, it's like this, this person... I feel like this person tries to take a risk with you or tries to take a leap of faith with you, but it's like, it's like you're, you start seeing things clearly here and it's like you don't want it anymore. And I feel like it may cause this person to act out here. It's like you're gonna come to this person, you know, but the Queen of Swords, you can't hide anything from the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, if she asks you a question, she probably already knows whether you're a male or female, okay? But it's like this person gets upset. The Fool in Reverse is here. Why? Why is the Fool here in Reverse? Because we have the Three of Cups in Reverse and then the Fool. This person takes a risk um, with you, wants to leave all the baggage behind, but I feel like it's something that you just don't want. It's like maybe you thought you wanted it at one time, but then you just don't. Okay? Um, I hate to make this sound so negative, but that's, what, that's what's on the table, all right? Uh, what is the most likely outcome for Capricorn?
You know, I just honestly, I think your person just has, um, you know, just has some emotional issues that they need to work out. We all do, you know. Um, but there, there's some emotional immaturity coming from this person's side, okay? Or this could be you. Take it how it resonates. The world. Okay. Yeah, um... Somebody here kind of gives up, like someone's like, all right, I'm done, um, I'm done defending myself. I'm done defending myself. I feel like that might be your person, or that could be you, you know? Um, and then, I feel like things end. I feel like things end and, uh, and, you know, you cut it out here, okay? I feel like things get cut out here. We do have the king and the queen of swords here. Could be a good match. I just feel, um, you know, I, 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 emotional, emotional issues, you know, or an emotional immaturity or emotional stagnation, whatever it is, you know, a lot of the times that stems from something way deeper that you can't necessarily fix. And it's not your job to fix anybody. It's not their job to fix you, you know? But this person, it, this person has to, has to want it, has to want to fix those issues because unfortunately what I'm seeing is that this person is coming from a place of ego. I mean, this energy here in the present moment is like, oh, I can get them back, it's not a problem. You know, and you're just kind of like, okay, you know, I, it's almost, <laughs> it's kind of like you ever see a, a grown dog and then a puppy and the new puppy comes in the house and the puppy's just like biting at the, biting at the dog and they have this, you know, um, whatever. And they're like biting at the ear and everything and the grown puppy's just like, okay, just get off. You know, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like, I feel like you've kind of seen this behavior from this person before. Um... And I feel like you're just not, there's not many cups on the table either. There's only the two king of cups here in reverse and the three of cups in reverse here. So I do believe that there is a, an issue with emotion, uh, this person's emotional behavior, okay? So just be on the lookout for that, Cappy. But, um, you know, I like this energy for you. I like that you're keeping your nose to, to the ground and you're basically doing you, which is great. And I wish the best for your person. Um, I hope it works out. I do hope that your person, you know, gets the emotional help that they need or whatever the case. And good luck to you. Thank you so much for watching. It was a pleasure to read your cards and I'll catch you next time, right? Peace out.